Hello guys, how are you all doing today? Um, thank you, first of all, everybody who watched my video from yesterday. There's uh, currently 53 people have actually watched it, which is fantastic. But what is not fantastic is no one so far has actually attempted the challenge. Come on guys, give it a go. You're never going to improve if you don't challenge yourself. Okay, so when you looked at that challenge, when you looked at the video, I know some of you may be thinking, why is this guy starting at the beginning with the alphabet? I'm not at school anymore. Wrong, you are at school. You're at the English school with me, okay? So you need to be able to go back to basics whenever you're learning a language. Uh, try to think back to when you learnt your native language back at school. You started with the alphabet and then you moved on to shorter words. Um, so that's today what we're going to do. We're going to look at shorter words uh, and break them up. That's the main thing. Um, there's actually a couple of words that my students have been troubled with. Um, this is uh, beach and bitch. Uh, and I know some of you know that one of those words, uh, bitch, is a, a derogatory term uh, you can give to somebody. It's actually a female dog, you know, so it's it's not that bad, but uh, well, it's not if you actually are talking about a female dog. Um, but if you're giving it to another person, it's uh, it's quite insulting. So, um, but it's very similar to beach and bitch, beach and bitch. So what I always say to my students is break up the word. Always break up the words. So, uh, for example, if you take off the B, let's get rid of the B, and we have two new words. We have each and itch. Um, and each is you could use in a in a speech perhaps um, and for example I can say it to you now this video is for each and every one of you each and every person who wants to improve uh, English that is when you would use itch each uh, itch though that's like an itch oh, I've got an itch itch on my uh, neck um, so start with that and then you can differentiate the, the, the sounds each, itch, each. And remember the each is like an E sound, each. Whereas itch, it, think about it, you break up the word even more. Itch, it, so itch and then add the B, bitch. Be careful who you use it with, bitch, beach. Bitch and beach, and your challenge for today is to write a sentence with other words with the same ending, so the itch and the each. There's quite a few words in the English language uh, with those endings, um, so use the dictionary, dictionary.com. I may have mentioned it before, fantastic website. Not only do you get the meanings of all the words, you also get the thesaurus synonyms with the word so you can maybe learn other ways to uh, use the same word but uh, in, in, improve your vocabulary essentially and that's I'm sure what all of you want to do. Um, so that's it for today, um, have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow, bye!